All right, today we are playing more Elder Scrolls Oblivion, uh, but this time we are going to be doing a very specific quest, some DLC. We are doing the Knights of the Nine, so we need to head to Anvil, and we need to talk to the Prophet, which I think he's... I think he's here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's there. Mr. Prophet, man, where are you? I need to talk to you. How's it going? Who will stand? Oh, we need to have to turn back subtitles back on. All right, there we go. What, what's going on? Who will complete Helenol's holy mission of vengeance upon Umaril? Uh, I can do oh that. My. I can do that. To it. what do I owe this honor? I am but a humble prophet. What business do you have with me? I am here to, to answer the call for whatever it is you're talking this about. This is only the beginning. Uh huh. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal Whitestrake in his dying breath. Wow. Umaril, who's that? Umaril the Unfeathered. Wow. The sorcerer he still king has his feathers, of the huh? Iliads, who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men. Hey man, I'm a dark elf. I don't care about manly politics. He was politics. cast down by Pelinal Whitestrake. But Umaril's spirit survived. And now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods. Okay, sure, yeah. What? So who's Pelinal Whitestrake anyway? Uh, does no one remember the old tales? No, I mean there's Saint no books Pelinal, on it, so I'm not reading it. The divine it. crusader of legend. I see. Alicia's companion when she yeah. overthrew the rule of the aliens 3,000 years ago. Wow. That was a long time ago, man. Helenol, with the aid of the gods, fought the alien sorcerer King Umaril and slew him. Great. So why is but he back? Umaril's spirit survived. And he has now returned. Just tell me who attacked the chapel, okay? Do you understand nothing? Yeah, pretty much. The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. No, I don't study ancient Ash runes. Uibala, Umarale Elnada Rakuvar. Okay. In the alien tongue, by the eternal power of Umaril, the mortal gods shall be cast down. Okay, sure. A curse upon Umaril's ancient foes and a threat. Is that a threat? So how do we stop Umaril, though? Alas, Umaril cannot be stopped. Then what are we even talking about? We not should just give up now. The gods, not without the Crusader's relics. Oh, okay, so we have to get something, huh? Without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine crusader's weaponry. I don't know who will stop Umaril. Nor do I. Yep. Oh, my people! Who will save you from destruction? Is there none now worthy to be your crusader? No, I guess not, because I... Nope. Quest for the relics. I need a quest. Are you a worthy knight? I... Um... Wow, I have a lot of options. Holy crap. Um, I, uh, am I a knight? Am I, I don't know. I think I'm actually a part of Knights of the, Knight of the Thorn. I am the hero of the Kvatch. I'm the champion of Cyrodiil. I serve Sith. It's, um, what happens if I say I serve Sith? Actually, you know what? Let's say I'm the champion of Cyrodiil. That's pretty worthy. And never let anyone forget it, champion. I salute you. Yes. This small matter of the Crusader's relic should be a trifle for a legend such as yourself. Yes, it should be. <laughs> what? What's that it? Are you... Okay, uh... Yes, I'm a worthy knight. And I'm sure you will have no trouble finding the relics on your own. You clearly need no aid from man or god. <laughs> Why do you come to me for aid, worthy knight? You asked if I was a worthy knight, you freaking prick. All right. Are you? Here's like this: is what you get. I'm I serve Sithis, you prick. Indeed. And yet you would seek the holy relics. The gods will find you an interesting plaything. I have no doubt. How can I find the relics, though? The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act is not predictable. Okay. What I can tell you is that 
Traditionally, knights who wished to quest for the relics would walk the Pilgrim's Way. All right, I guess I can walk that to way. Travel the way shrines of the Nine Divines. Pray to each of the gods in turn and ask their favor upon your quest. If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. What, Go forth. What kind of sign? Like a for sale sign? A, a stop sign? Okay. Well, thanks for that. If I remember right, these way shrines... Yeah, we got the map. We can't... These way shrines are not marked on uh, our our normal map, so we cannot travel by uh, travel to them normally. Wow, holy crap, this place really... really was destroyed. Man, I wonder if we can pray to anybody. No, I can't. Well, that looks really unfortunate for her. You got anything good on you? You got this key. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's get out of here and, and start looking for these way shrines. All right, where's this map? We gotta check that out. Way shrines map. Should probably quick slot that. Okay, so Akatosh, Debella, Mara, blah blah blah. RK, it's over that way. All right, let's start with RK and just kind of head, make our way through. All right, so we need to head right above the road in the middle. We head to Lord Drad's estate and then to head southeast. We should be able to find it. No problem. Shouldn't be that difficult. All right, we need to head down this way. And, uh, and actually, you know, let's grab our horse because that's going to make it a lot easier, too. All right, let's head down this way and we should be able to find the way shrine pretty quickly. It shouldn't be too difficult. I, oh, no, I didn't mean to get off the horse. Oh, no. I'm going to jump over this fence. Oh, yeah. All right, it should be somewhere right around here, if I'm correct. Am I incorrect? Oh, I need to go. I think I need to go a little bit farther over. Oh, there it is right over there. All right, let's head down that <coughs> way and get to the way shrine. Then we can go to our next destination. I'm definitely... Oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, th I thought I could have sworn I was under attack. All right, let's take out this stupid wolf and then... And then pray to the gods. How's it going, gods? Continue your penance... Uh, Continue your penance to earn favor of the gods. Okay. I prayed at the Way Shrines of RK. Head to Mara, which is right next to Skingrad. It looks like right there. Looks like if we go to this gate right here and just kind of head north, it shouldn't take too long to get there. Should be somewhere around here, if I'm correct. I don't see it yet. Oh, is that it? There, there, there it is right there. All right, let's head over to it. Pray to whatever, which one this one is. I don't know. Doesn't really matter that much. Who cares? Who cares about the gods? Not me, that's for certain. Uh, it's the Shrine of Mara. Now we need to head- Oop, I prayed at the Way Shrine of Mara. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware. I was fully aware that I did that. I guess let's head- <clears throat> I guess let's head to Debella next. Just south of Coral. So we head to this gate of Oblivion, then we'd, and then head south. Should be able to see it pretty quickly. Somewhere right around here, I think? Maybe it's over here, this way a little bit. Oh yeah, right down there. All right, nice. <coughs> three down, uh, six more to go. Well, <coughs> almost three down, and then six more to go after that. I've earned the penance of Zibella. Now I need to go somewhere else. Now where I'm going? I'm going. Let's go to Akatosh, right south of Bruma. Which is let's go to the Bruma Caverns. I suppose that's as good as any place to start, and then just below. The castle walls, we should be able to see it. Maybe down this mountainside here? Oh, yep, right there. All right, sweet. <coughs> nice. We're really cruising through this. I remember the last time I did this, which is probably the only time I've ever done this quest. Oh. Um, it took me forever, but I think that's... I think it's because I forgot I had a map. <laughs> uh, so, as you can imagine... Ooh, Jesus, I should probably get my health up. That was, that was pretty low. Okay, that was close. Uh, let's go to Julianos next, I guess? That seems like a good choice. Where is it? Right around here? Oh, maybe we won't go to Julianos. How about let's, let's go to... Let's go to Talos next. I think if we head... Head here. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Alright, I think it's somewhere along here. Holy crap, it's a Minotaur! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Not good. Oh, bad. Alright, there we go. We took out that stupid Minotaur. Alright. Now we need to return to our quest of finding the Way Shrine, which... I don't know. Am I even close to it? I don't really know. 
Somewhere down here, I guess. Which is... Yeah, okay. We need to keep heading this way, I guess. Well, there's a statue to her scene, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Um, Have you guys seen a way shrine anywhere? You know anything about way shrines? Oh, there it is right there. Ah, oh, sweet. Way shrine of Talos. Continue your peasant penance of forgiveness. Okay. So we have, we have Talos... Uh, what's that? Four down? I cannot read while enemies are nearby. What enemies? Oh, they gone? No. I don't know. Alright. Well, I think it's somewhere this way, so I guess let's head this way for now. Hey, look, it's a graveyard. Wow. Look at all these dead. This is a bigger graveyard than you'll ever see in Skyrim, that's for sure. Okay, Julianus is somewhere up this way. So let's head... Oh, man, that's far away. Can I... Is there any faster way to travel there? No, not really. Alright, so let's head this ah! way. Now let's try and cross over that bridge, and it's... Should be pretty close by to the bridge. Well, the game crashed, so let's see. I have no idea how much progress I've lost. Is that the Shrine of Akatosh? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so what? Oh, okay, I'm not as far... Okay. So I've done Akatosh, so... All I lost, I guess, is Talos. Alright, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get that, and then we can try and get Julianus. And hopefully it doesn't crash, because that would... That would suck. Okay, there we go. So we just prayed at the uh, <laughs> just prayed at the shrine of Talos, and so then we can head across this bridge and try and find Julianos. Uh, hopefully, hopefully no crashing happens. That would that's really that's really my my ultimate goal in the end. And just for not for this not to crash and for me not to lose all my progress. This is like a thin bridge, but I guess I mean I guess if you're doing a bridge this long, then it might as well be thin. Although I don't understand. I don't know, I feel like they could have picked a better spot for this bridge. Maybe they could have do, done two bridges over there. Your money what the heck? your life. <laughs> uh, nah, take it from me if you can. See you later, you dumb bandit. I don't care about you. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. From this place to the next place. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think if we head just straight he this way, we should be able to find it. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, I didn't mean to get off my horse. Get back on! Oh, I guess that's not happening. Alright, sweet. So that's the Shrine of Julianus. I think we need to just pray that four more, actually. We're almost done with this. Which is good, because this is not the best part of the quest, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, just three more. Yeah, okay, just three more. Alright, sweet. So let's head to Zenithar next. Oh, that's <laughs> right there. Oh, sweet. Alright. Wow. Man, I'm really happy that this is. we're just flying through this, because, jeez. I am not a fan of doing this way shrine stuff. Okay, so now we just need two more. Let's head to Stendar, and then we can head to Kinnereth. All right, looks like it's just up here. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find. But then again, I've been wrong before, so maybe I'm going to be wrong again. Maybe it's on the other side of the road? Oh, there it is. Okay, not... Doesn't seem like it's quite where it said it was, but sure, whatever. All right, sweet. So now we just need to pray at this altar, and then we'll have one left. All right, now we need to head to... Oh, there's enemies nearby. What the heck? I don't want to deal with these stupid enemies. I want to just get to the next wave tribe. Oh, my word. There's still enemies nearby. What the heck? Where are these enemies? I don't see them anywhere. I'm sick of it. All right, there we go. Okay, we should be able to read now. Okay, so we're going to Kinnereth next, which is way up there. All right, I guess let's get... I guess let's head to this cave over here, and then we can head west. And I'll... After a little while, we'll be there. Yeah, it looks if we head, looks like if we head directly this way, we should be able to run right into it. Hopefully, that's my hope. I mean, you never know what could happen. We could, we could totally miss it by miles. Probably not miles. I don't think this game is miles long, but you know. Oh, I'm way off. I'm way off. Oh crap. All right. I guess let's head to this cave over here. Well, that was just a great waste of time. All right. So if we head down this way, this directory, this general direction, we should be able to run into it, for real. I guess I was, I was right. I was pretty far off. Potentially even as far off as miles, depending on how you calculate a mile in this game. If it's a much shorter distance than in real life, which I mean everything's to scale, so I guess it would be. Maybe right over this uh, ridge right here. We'll see. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, sweet. Fantastic. Oh, yes. All right, so let's go pray at this altar, and then we can head back. I guess we can head back to what's-his-face. Rejoice. You've completed the pilgrimage of the nine way shrines, and your sins have been washed clean. That's great. I'm really glad that all, and all the bad deeds that I've done in my life have been washed away because I went to some 
went to some altars. I prayed at the Way Shrine of Kinrath. Yeah, I'm aware. I've completed my pilgrimage to the Way Shrines. Yeah, why, why, how, why do we need three updates for this? I should pray and wait for a vision to guide me in my quest for the Crusaders relics. Hail what the knight? What the what? You seek my relics with a worthy heart. Is that Shag Is that you, Shagorath? It certainly sounds like it. Oh, okay. Now we're going to a loading screen. Whoa! Holy moly! Your prayers have woken me from my endless dream. Oh, yeah. Or okay. Perhaps you have entered my dream, and I still sleep. Well. I mean, I I would say I think probably. Others have sometimes spoken to me. Others like you, but my memory is doubtful. Perhaps the others came after you. Uh huh. That's interesting. Your need must be great for the gods to allow us to speak. Has Umaril the accursed found a way back? The fast. Of a foul race, a thousand curses upon his unholy name. Yeah, like, like Frick and I thought I won, and but Fridge, I other curses. No, no, the slave masters are a cunning breed. Umaril found a way to cheat death as I could not. Well, okay, yeah, sure, I guess so. If you would seek for my relics. I know little that can help you. Well, then why are we even talking, All man? All that has passed since my death is like mist that my mind cannot take hold of. Great. I'm glad. My friends built a shrine upon the site of my death where the elves tormented me in a final act of revenge. Okay, so where's the shrine then? I can show you where it once stood. Perhaps it is there still. Yeah, perhaps. Okay, let's, let's get on with this. Well, what? Sir. You didn't show me anything. Get back here. May where you going? May the gods grant you to destroy Umaril utterly. As I what? What? You're just gonna... St what's going on? What? Okay, you're gonna turn back to me now, huh? All right, well, that was definitely something. Did we did we learn anything? Okay, here we go. Upon completing my pilgrimage to the Way Shrines, I received a vision from the divine crusader, Pelinul Whitestrick. He revealed the location of his lost shrine, which is where I should begin my quest for the relics of the crusader. Ah, uh, sweet. Okay, let's head to this shrine, and then let's go get some relics, I guess. It's in the middle of a lake. Wow. All right. Okay, so I guess let's head to Hercene Shrine. It seems like the closest place to it. Oh, hey, a Nern rune. Let's grab that. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I want to kill these mud crabs. Eat this, you dirty mud crabs. All right, so it... Okay, great. Looks like we're going to have to go for a bit of a swim. Why would they... I'm, I presume the lake wasn't here before, but I feel like it probably was. So why would they build a shrine under a lake? I don't know. Okay, maybe it's sunk. Looks like this is it. Stone door to Venua. All right. Um. Oh, great skeleton. All right. What were we doing? I just, I just took a quick break to get a uh, a delicious strawberry. What is this? Fruit and grain bar. That's pretty much exactly what it is. Get it? You gotta love food, where the exact thing is in the name of the food. You know, that's what it is. Like you go and buy a delicious crust and. Cheese and sauce and pepperoni. That's that's the name of the item. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a world where that's what pizza was called? Well, that's what pizza is called. Just whatever the ingredients are, that's what you call it. How the hell do we get in this thing? Am I missing something? I, cl I feel like I'm definitely missing something. Oh, there we go. There's a switch. All right, sweet. There we go. Oh, it's a ghost. Take him down. Eat this, you stupid ghost. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. He's dead. Uh, no. Now what? I'm gonna, gonna go through this door, I guess. It's like, that's not the way to go. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. It's another ghost. Oh, you know what? My health is kind of low. Let's let's use this greater staff of storms. I haven't, I haven't used this weapon in an age. Oh, crap. Eat this, you stupid ghost. Can I take care of him? Is he dead? No, he's dead. 
Good. Dad, I don't want to. I didn't want to deal with you anyway. Oh crap! I forgot this thing doesn't do anything. Isn't is not nearly as good against skeletons. Ow! Oh jeez. I often forget them. <clears throat> well, I often forget that I'm a mage, and then I can you know use magic, that kind of stuff. There we go. Okay, we took that stupid. St oh, there's a chest. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing that fantastic. Nice of the nine shields. Grab that and a fine steel longsword. Oh shit. Okay, well apparently, what? I don't need this longsword. Why did I pick that up? Holy, oh, well, that did the trick. That looks like the helmet. Can I get over there? I bet you I can get that. I, I still have the boots of Spring Hill Jack. Let's grab this and, oh yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> oh whoops. <laughs> Why hello guys. <laughs> Well, that's one way to do it, you know? Why why worry about questing or any of that stuff when you could just break the rules? Actually, you know what? I don't know if I should do this. Maybe I should grab it. Let's just grab it. I've recovered the, <clears throat> I've recovered the helm of the Crusader, the first piece of the Crusader's relics. Well, that's great. All right, well, let's continue on our journey, I guess. I'm not going to go that way. Oh, I need a key for that. I guess I am going to go this way. That needs a key, too. What the hell? Does this guy have a key? I found the body of Sir Emil, who appears to have perished centuries ago while questing for the Shrine of the Crusader. Perhaps I can find some clues on his body that will help my own quest for the Crusader's relics. <laughs> Turned out better than his. Okay, great. Let's grab his key. Sir Emil was a member of the Knights of, an, of the Nine, a holy order devoted to recovering the relics of the Crusader. Through reading his journal, I've learned the location of their former headquarters, the Priory of the Nine in the West Weald. I should proceed to the old Priory and see if it still holds the curse of the Crusader, as Sir Emil's journey suggests. But first, I should make sure I have his ring, which I need to access the Priory vaults. How do I get out of here, though? I guess let's go this way. And I'm just going to sneak past these guys, because I don't want to deal with them. Now where am I? Oh my god, what is this place? Oh, jeez. Alright, finally, we're we're out of there. We're out of that crappy place. We gotta... Okay, so where is this... Where is this... This place we're going to? Prior to the Nine? Well, apparently something is still chasing me, but... Oh. Well, there's a spray again. Okay, so, uh... The game crashed again, so I guess we're all the way back here. I, it's not really that big of a deal, really. I mean, I was still unable to escape from whatever the hell was chasing me. Hopefully this time we finally can. There's a mud crab. I guess kill him. And maybe it was a mud crab the whole time, because now the mud crab's dead and I can do whatever the hell I want. Great, so let's head to the this priory over here. Priory of the Nine. All right, what do we have to go, this way? All right. All right, let's head that way. On our great journey to pilgrimage to the Priory of the... N oh, crap, it's a troll. And he's dead. You stupid troll, let me get your... Let me get your dumb fat. You dumb troll fat. Oh, crap, there's another troll. This must be Troll City. I'm gonna leave his fat. His you know, troll fat takes <coughs> a lot, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, there we go. That must be the Priory of the Nine right there. Wow, what a... What a Priory. You think maybe the... There'll still be something there. Wow, looks pretty abandoned. I wonder what's I wonder what's in this church here. Might as well find out. An altar. Rejoice through faith, your afflictions have been banished. That's good. I was I was really concerned. Oh wow, let's check out this. Sarah Meal's ring did that on that, and now it's opened up. That's that's a pretty impressive mechanism. I'm going to be trying to not swear in this video, by the way, because YouTube has started uh, demonetizing some of my videos, so I guess we'll see how well that goes. All right. Is there anything in this room? It looks pretty generic. I guess let's head through this weird door. Priory Undercroft. Okay, what's going Oh, let's go grab this. Oh, and... What the... Sir Emil, hey, you're the guy that... You're the dead guy we saw in the last By time. the strength and guidance <laughs> of the Nine, uh -huh. who comes before us? Upon this sacred ground, seeking the curus of the divine crusader. It's me, a worthy knight. Step forward, adventurer, 
and face us each in honorable combat. For the vows we fail to revere in life, we shall uphold in death. Okay. No unworthy soul shall lay hands upon this sacred artifact without the leave of the Knights of the Nine. It, okay, so what do I have to do? I have to fight all of you? Oh, oh crap, apparently I'm going to have to do some fighting. Where's my lightning surge spell? There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. This is uncomfortable. Oh, whoops. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that did the trick. I have one Welkin stone. That's not gonna go over well. I have a lot more guys to face. You are defeated. Sir Casimir, step forward. Oh my god, who's fighting me now? Holy oh, just waiting for my agility to restore up enough. There we go. Take this! That's right. That's the power of YouTube demonetization. You get struck down before my very eyes. You have bested Sir Casimir. Now face Sir Ralvis. Okay. I don't understand why they're not just charging at me. Oh, this guy's now. Why they're not just charging at me like the first time. Actually, I, I don't really understand why you're not... Why you didn't... Oh my god, what the heck? I understand why you didn't, you know, tell me that this guy was gonna face me. Tell me who I was facing the first time. Is this the first guy? Sir Gregory? You have Cast fallen. Me. Step Maybe back he did. and let the challenge continue. I don't know, I'm confused. Sir Henrik, come forward and prove yourself. Alright, now. Oh, this guy, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, my health as well. Oh, jeez. Alright, do I have anything to help me out with that? Weak potion of healing. I did something. Not a lot, but it is something, I suppose. Suppose it's better than nothing. You have overcome half of us, and yet you remain standing. Yes, I do. Perhaps Sir Caius shall test your true metal. Perhaps he shall, but perhaps he shall not. Who the oh my god. Eat this, you dumb Sir Caius. Ah. There we go. Okay, we killed that guy. Now we just need what? Three more? Alright, these two guys. I'm, I'm guessing I have to fight him too, probably. Faith that I have not seen in centuries. But now you face Sir Junkin. <laughs> Sir Junkin. Oh yeah, is he is he like extra good or something? Uh, did I hit him? No, I didn't. Oh god, what a freaking waste. Alright, well he's down. Now uh doesn't I'm still in the bit of a pickle. I wonder if What's in here for potions? No potions in this chest. Is there any other chest that might have anything? Ah, oh, that's not useful at all. Oh my god! Oh, he's still talking about stuff. Okay. Show the challenge of the ferocity of the north. I accidentally stopped the recording trying to do my quick slots. Ah! Ouch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. Okay. Come on. Ow! Oh my god, I'm pretty friggin' low on health. Alright, well, that took him out. Alright, so, it looks... Maybe I'm done, but... Stood against the Knights of the Nine. Yes, I have. However, the final test is upon Yeah, okay, great. Ready yourself, sir, knight. And face... Me! <laughs> okay, uh, so now we have to face Sir Emil, but I think I have a way around this. I think I have another... I have another soul gem somewhere. Alright. Let's take this soul gem, let's throw it on this staff here, and... We have five uses, that should be plenty to take him down. Um, and he's done. I think he's done. Oh, he, can we loot him? No, we can't. Alright, well that was great. We really did it there. We showed him. Is that it? We're done for the day? Knight. Yeah, that's my name, Sir Knight. None have stood against us and lived. Yeah, but how many have stood against you and not lived, though? Probably zero, right? By right. May your faith be true. What I'm saying is, in 300 years, nobody stood against you. Nobody's, nobody's been there. You've been dead. 
Curse of the Crusader. I've defeated the ghostly guardians of the Curse of the Crusader. I can now claim it for my own. Oh yeah, let's grab this thing. I've recovered the Curse of the Crusader. I should talk to the ghosts of the former Knights of the Nine to see if they can aid me in my quest for the remaining Crusader's relics. Well, that was definitely something. By the Nine? I've not seen such strength. Could you be... No, you cannot. You are simply a noble knight. Yeah, okay. Um, thanks. Go with I virtue. guess. Alright, so I guess we need to talk to one of these guys. Let's talk to Sir Gregory. How may I serve you, Commander? What do you know anything about... No, you don't know nothing. Okay, great. May your sword... If you are true to the teachings of Julianus, it may be possible for you to find the shield of the Crusader. Oh, okay, great. That's what I'm looking for. What do you mean? When the order crumbled, I set out on my own. After years of searching, I found the shield and brought it to Fort Bulwark for safekeeping. Okay, yep. Yeah. With the help of a few trusted friends, I began work to keep the shield safe for all eternity. I never saw my work finished. That, yeah, that I died great. defending the fort from those who would take and misuse the shield. So in other words, your mission failed, I they probably saw took and misused work it. Finished. Huh? I trust that the others carried on without me. Yeah, but why would they? Okay, so... Shield of the Crusader, the where is it, though? The shield is safeguarded within Fort Bulwark. It is protected, and care must be taken when attempting to find it. Uh, okay, Fort Bulwark? It lies in the southeast of Cyrodiil, near the Black Marsh border. If all went according to plan, it should be very well guarded now. Okay, great, so... Believe in yourself, and use your knowledge wisely. You will pass through unharmed, and the shield will be yours. Go with virtue. Okay, so I guess let's go get this shield. Sounds like the right plan right now. Kind of a kind of a creepy area. <laughs> I saw that chair, and I thought it was somebody standing there in robes, and I was like, holy f wisdom of the ages. I need to go to Fort Bulwark. All right, looks like we should go to Nocturnal Shrine, and then just head east, I guess. There, we took that guy out. Oh my god, there's another person. Is she up here? Where's this lady? There's a scamp. I don't even see this. Oh, there they are. Oh, well, now they're dead. Alright, well, I guess let's head inside Fort Bulwark and uh, try and find this shield. My guess is, uh, my guess is, sir, what's his face? I found Fort Bulwark. I need to get inside. Yeah, I'm aware. I just established that. I just, I just established the, the goal that we're trying to achieve. But I'm guessing that what's his face that that Knights of the Nine guy failed at his mission because uh, it seems like there's a lot of bad guys around here. Wow, this is talk about Fort Bulwark. This is some serious bulwark in this place. Oh great. Oh son of a gun, this is bad. Okay, let's. Uh, hopefully, I have. Do I have another, another? What's it called? Another soul gem? Well, that has petty in it. What's that like? One use. It's not gonna be very handy. Let's see how let's see how many I can ah. round up. Let's see if I can round up them all and then kill them with one go. Cause that'd be that'd be nice, you know. What happened to those other conjurers? Did they run off? Oh, <laughs> <he's> just, oh. <laughs> well, I see what happened to the conjurer now. I I understand what what the problem was. Okay, well I guess we're not I guess we're not doing that. Let's see if we can take a look at the map and find the quickest way to this shield. I guess let's head this way. Oh my god, this was a freaking dead end. What's in this chest? Anything good? A potion of the spell. Great. Wow. My life is now complete. Let's see if I can kill this guy with one. Alright, that took him out. Oh, crap. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, how many uses is that? Yeah, that's one use. Okay, good. Oh my god, that didn't kill him. Well, that killed him, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Well, there's a potion of sorcery, so that that's handy. You and I randomly feel like in the mood to play uh, Battle for Middle-Earth 2. I don't know why all of a sudden, just looking at the Elven Dagger for some reason made me suddenly want to play it. That's kind of out of the blue. Well, that, in, that killed him. That's good. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention, if you're following me on Twitter, uh, I changed my Twitter handle from at Kaimentari. Recently used pickaxe. Oh, now I'm over and coming. Great. I changed it from at Kaimantari to uh, at the Cantina Ch, which is just short for channel, but 
I think, but I think ch sounds better anyway. They, I saw another, just saw another recently used pickaxe. They must be digging to something. Where am I going anyway? Am I not? Looks like I need to get up there somehow. I guess if I go this way. Yeah, if I go this way, I should, should be able to loop around and I can get up there. That should do the trick. Probably should sneak also. Now I think about it. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Frick. Gah. Well, I think I auto-saved. Ooh, no, don't let that one. I auto-saved somewhere. All right. Oh, my God. I'm right where I just died. All right, let's take this stupid flame atronach down. Where's that potion of sorcery? Do I not have any? Apparently, I didn't pick up any, so... Great. I kind of want to go back and get some now. You have a potion of sorcery, my friend? No, you don't. Okay, good. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. This guy should be dead in a second anyway. There we go. All right, well, it looks like we can't go across that, so maybe if we go through this door here, that'll bring us to the switch to let that down. But then again, maybe not, you know? You never know with this game. You never know. How many people are in there? Okay, so there's two guys right there. So let's... I believe I have one more petty soul gem. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's grab the greater staff of storms. Let's throw this on and see if I can hit both these guys at once. And I missed both of them. Good. <laughs> Great. Oh, God. That did not do a lot. No, I don't want to hit the Dramora. Oh, this is bad. Are they just fighting each other now? I just... Okay, sure, they're just gonna kill each other. Wait for them to open the door, and then I'll... Ouch! Okay, come on. No, stop healing yourself. Oh, son of a... Oh, there is a potion of... Gee, how did I miss that? Wow, why is your health suddenly... What? Didn't I just hit you with it twice? I swear I just... I just hit you twice with... A... Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, good. I guess that did the trick. Well, now let's check out what's in here. Not a whole lot, apparently. Oh, let's, I bet you that's the... Bet you that's the switch I'm looking for. Acolytes, the shield is here. We know this, and yet we have not found it. The fort has been cleansed, and yet still it eludes us. No doubt it was hidden from eyes such as ours. Hidden from the intent. Blah, blah, blah. I guess I'll take that note. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Oh, there's another switch. Okay. Well, I'm glad I decided to go this way. Alright, sweet. Okay, so now that we have that stuff down, let's try and head back to where we were, where we're supposed to be. And we should be able to get across from across that thing and then find the shield. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I turned that other one, right? Didn't I? The turn handle's locked in place. Yeah, so I did turn it. Which means I'm missing something else. Ugh! Alright, is there any place I haven't been yet? Alright, well, I haven't been down here yet, so I guess maybe must be down this way, probably. There's gotta be another switch somewhere down here, right? Right? I'm not crazy. Well, I don't see one, though, so I guess there's not one down here. Ow! Oh, jeez! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm gonna save real quick before I accidentally kill myself again and lose all this progress that I've made so far. Oh, okay, well, this gate here opened up. I don't know why I didn't notice that before, so I guess let's go across here. Oh, and they got a puzzle. Okay. Um. Okay, so we need to go on this one and then that one. No. Right, okay. So this one and then that one and then this one and then that one. Yes, I did it. Oh, nice. Okay. Flick whatever this is. That's got to do something, right? There's a guy down this way. Oh. Hey, how's it going, man? Please, set me free. I'll, I'll set you free. Yeah, no problem, dude. What's up, Sir Thedrit? Thank you for rescuing me. Wow. I've lost track of how long they've held me here. No problem, sir. Who are you, man? I am Sir Thedrit. I came here seeking the shield of the Crusader and was ambushed by these... these cowards. They've held me here since. Wow, how long have you been here? What are you doing here? I've been held prisoner by these scoundrels for the longest time. They want to know how to reach the shield, and believed I would help them. Yeah, well, I guess you didn't help them. When I refused, they locked me here, and only let me out to torture me. They got nothing from me. Good job, man. Good job, sir. Thedrit, can you help me? I can't go with you if that's what you mean. I'm too weak. 
I need to rest. Once I have my strength, I will certainly join your cause. All right, sounds good. You have to go on alone. But the knowledge I've gained may be of use to you. Okay, what do you know, though? Before finding this place, I learned a bit about those who created it. It's designed to keep the shield hidden and safe. Yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense. The phrase kept coming up in the writings I found. When the eyes of the Guardians are upon you, Julianos will show you favor. Okay. I'm not sure how, but I just know it's a clue for making it safely through these ruins. You're the only one I've told. I hope it helps you. Thanks, man. It helps. It helps so much. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, that took her out. All right, looks like somebody's on to us. I don't know who, though. Not somebody over here, I guess. Oh. He just came right through that door. No problem. Well, okay. Sure. I suppose if that's the way you're going to play it, you can just freaking go right through doors. There, okay. We took him out. Oh, holy crap. Don't want to step into that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's coming down. Well, that's a serious death trap right there. All right, we're good. We made it through it. I'm going to save real quick because I don't want to have to deal with that ever again. Oh, there's some more conjurers over there. Gotta be careful of them. Uh, so these must be the guardians. Alright, let's go kill these guys real quick. Ah! Well, that took... <laughs> Stop where you are. Okay, so we just take out this last guy right here. Ouch. Strong potion of sorcery and shoot this lady up with some lightning. Oh, come on. Stop making this difficult. Get back here. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, good. We took care of those guys. All right, so I presume that's gonna be it for the for the conjurers. Should we probably start turning these things and see where they line up? I think I need to turn this one more. Oh wait, no, that one was faced the right way. Ah, oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, it's just gonna keep going all the way around. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna argue. That's fine with me. All right, this guy's not there yet. Okay, there we go. That should be it, right? Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, the fires went out. Oh, this door opened. Okay. I'm gonna sneak because who knows what kind of monsters lie in wait. Like, I mean, it could be like a... Like a skeleton, or it could be like... A goblet? I don't know. Just some kind of... Some kind of monster, probably. Some kind of trap. Maybe a... Maybe a piece of bread. I don't know. You, those kind of things you find in dungeons. Okay, well, I haven't found any monsters of yet. No, no monsters? Prob I'm sure there's got to be something I'm going to fight in here, right? I found some sort of puzzle or trap deep inside Fort Bulwark. I'll need to figure out what it means in order to acquire the Shield of the Crusader. Rodgar's Skull. Well, now I'm over-encumbered. Okay, good, okay. Looks like this is lit up. Did I screw that up somehow? So I guess if I put Rod... Maybe if I put Rodgar's skull in here? His mother's head. That's not Rodgar's skull. There we go. Rodgar's skull. Did that... Did that do it? Okay, well, here's Rodgar's gem. Now it's lit up. This one over here? A floating... Floating book. Okay, now I guess let's find Rodgar's gem. Do I have to hit him? Rodgar's gem is just gone. Weird. Rodgar's stone? Oh. Oh, I get it. There was an image of Rodgar's stone over here, so I have to put Rodgar's stone there. I, I get it now. That makes so much sense. Yes, it, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Alright, Rodgar's sword. Who has a sword? That's a cup. That's not Rodgar's sword. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to guess right now. So that's a cup, um, and I know that's a book, so maybe I'll just try this one. Is this a sword? No, that wasn't right. That was incorrect. Okay. Rodgar's hammer. Alright, yeah, I get that one's the book. I get that. Well, you know what? I know this one isn't the sword, so maybe it's the hammer. That's one way to test it out, right? That's using my use that's using my noggin. 
I suppose. No, that wasn't his hammer. Rodgar's goblet. Oh, and this, that's this one right here, I think. Oh, I could totally be wrong, but I think it's this one. Yes, yeah, so I was correct. Okay, sweet. Okay, so that's two down. Now what's next? Rodgar's sword. All right, well, I know that's not his sword, so I guess I'll try this one for his sword. Oh, that one is his sword. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have three down now. Um, what else is it going to give us? So now it's going to give us his helm. Okay, that's his gem. Okay, that's good to know. So that's his gem. And I know this one isn't his sword or his hammer. Well, I definitely know it's not his sword because I just found the one that's supposed to go in. So maybe this one is his helm. Yes, it is. Oh, fantastic. We're really rolling down. So we have this whole side done now. That one's his book. That one's his gem. What else are we getting now? Oh, we're getting his gem. Okay, sweet. So I know right where that goes. All right, fantastic. Now what's next? Come on, give it to me. His hammer, which isn't that. Oh, it's not that one because that one's the skull, so it must be this one. Ah, oh, yes. I got. I love... This is, this is really great. Oh, my God. I do not remember having to do this puzzle, but... You know, I, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. This is this is some good old-fashioned puzzling. You don't see this kind of stuff in games these days. You see stupid puzzles like match the picture like I'm a freaking two-year-old. I mean, this is technically match the picture, but there's more to it than that. It's a, it's a tougher match the picture. It's like go fish or something, you know what I mean? All right, so this one is his skull. Yes, we did it. We got it all. Oh, my God. That was a pretty sweet puzzle. That was a better puzzle than the last puzzle we just did. Oh my god, is this the shield right there? Wow. And look at all these sweet things to get. Potion of sorcery. All right, let's grab the shield. I've recovered the shield of the crusader. I've completed Sir Henrik's quest by recovering the shield of the crusader. Should continue the search for the relics. Yeah, I get it. Okay. And now I'm over encumbered. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's head back to the the Priory of the Nine. Okay, now we're back here. I get it. This is how you open this up. I'm glad I didn't spend a million years trying to figure out how to do that. All right, so how do I get out of here again? I don't remember. So I need to head down this way and then take a right, and I should be out. Okay, sweet. Yeah, there we go. All right, fantastic. We're out of that friggin' place. All right, so now we need to head back to the Priory. Head down here. Does this place seem brighter to you? Does it seem more lit? I'm kind of creeped out. Hey guys, we did it! We did the thing! I did it! I am at your sir. Oh, he doesn't have nothing to say. What May happened to that other guy? Truth. Wasn't there another guy I found in my journey? Maybe that's why it's lit down here? Uh, this, yeah, this place has definitely been cleaned up. Maybe he's hanging out in the chapel. No, he's not in here. Alright, that kind of creeps me out, honestly. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll continue this on the next, uh, and the next episode of this thing that we're doing. Make sure to stay tuned. Also, make sure to stay tuned for this weekend. I'm going to have a video that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. So, check that out when it comes out. It should be out on Saturday. I don't, I don't see a reason why it'll take till Sunday this time. So, it should be out on Saturday. I'll see you guys then. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. And if you want to check out my Twitter account, where I, I generally try to... Where I, where I generally try to post these when they're uploaded as much as possible, although I usually forget. Oh, there's that guy. I knew he was around well, here somewhere. Manson, did I not say we would meet again? Yes, you did. I am here and ready to serve. I will join your order, and together we will fight this new threat against the Nine. All right, great. Glory to the Nine. Okay, good. Wait, who the hell is this guy? Hey, man. How can I help you? Sergius Terrianus, at your service. Fedret and I go way back, and he said there was need of a blacksmith here. Oh, okay, sure. When you... It'd be an honor to provide what service I can. Uh-huh. So, you need anything repaired, you come see me. Actually, you know what? I probably do need stuff repaired. Can't go into battle with broken equipment. Uh, I can't repair, repair all because I have no money. Okay. Go ahead. Um, is that all you do? All you do is repair stuff Fair and well. I have no money? Maybe I can find some gold lying around. All right, I guess we'll call that good, me and uh, well, now let's go talk to... The Knights of the Nine. See what quest we're gonna do next. Let's see, I just did that guy, so I guess let's talk to this guy. You have my tribute, Sir Knight. In 300 years, none have passed the gauntlet. In 300 years, we have never known hope. Wow, that sounds bad. That sounds but for the bad. first time, it seems that someone may succeed where we have failed. I see in you the chance to redeem our souls and restore the order. Yeah, I can and do that. Now, I must ask you to press forward where I could not. I must ask you to face the challenge of Zenithar. Wow. 
Um, how did you fail? I was arrogant and foolhardy. Yeah. I sought personal glory. I placed my own will and my own lust for fame over the will of the night. Jeez, what a dummy. In facing the challenge of Xenathar, I failed. I tried dozens, no, hundreds of times to reach the mace. I fell each time, and each time I awoke in the chapel, I leapt again. I tried to enlist the help of the other knights, but none would come to my aid. Okay. The inscription says to walk in the faith, but even now, I do not know what this means. <laughs> what must I do? Below the chapel of Xenathar in Leowin, there is a shrine to the great craftsman, St. Calidus. Those seeking the mace must pray before the shrine. Okay, I can handle that. When you bow, you will receive a vision. Or perhaps not. It is unclear. The priest saw that my body never moved, but it felt so real. Huh. You will see the mace separated from you by a great chasm. The chasm represents your doubt. Your faith must be your guide across it. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. My faith will guide me. This is what I know. As I said, my faith was weak. Yeah, I apparently. did not understand the test, and I fell from the platform each time I tried to cross. I have told you all that I know. All that is left is for you to prove yourself more worthy than I. If you seek the mace, travel to Leowin's chapel, kneel at the shrine in the Undercroft, and let your faith in the Nine be the salvation of us all. Alright, I can handle that. Um, alright, let's go find this May mace. This sounds like a pretty sweet quest. Ah, oh, I love puzzles, and it sounds like this whole thing is just puzzles. Like, it- I think I've mentioned this before, but, um, it's been- it's been a seriously long time since I've done the Knights of the Nine, so I don't- I don't remember really any of this. Okay, so he said we need to head to the chapel Undercroft, so I guess we should head right in here, because uh, usually the chapel Undercroft is located underneath the chapel, you know, as far as I'm aware. What is this guy? It's you. I've heard of you. You're the one restoring the Knights of the Nine, yeah. aren't you? Okay, yep. I am merely a servant of the Nine. Such humility. <laughs> yes, I, I am hum- I am humil- I am Holen. If I you... originally came to this chapel in search of the Mace of Xenathar. Wow, why does everybody else seem to know I where tried. these things are and I have to I go talk to some ghosts? My faith was weak, or perhaps Xenathar decided it was not I who should carry the mace. Perhaps. He has found a use for me, however. The priests have asked me to stay on to protect the chapel. <laughs> After what happened in Anvil, they are afraid. Yeah, I suppose they are. What can you tell me about the mace? Legends say that when Pelinald Whitestrike was slain by the Aelids, a messenger carried the mace to the human settlement of Leowen as a message. A message carry a messenger later, carried a message. The master huh? craftsman St. Canadus <laughs> built the chapel of Xenathar in Leowen as a tribute to the legend. Wow. When St. Canadus was laid to rest, those who prayed to Xenathar at his tomb began to receive visions of the mace of the Crusader. Okay, thanks. Farewell. Bye. Oh, and of course there's ghosts, because why not? You have to fight somebody, right? Oh my god, there's a lot of ghosts. Holy crap. Who's this? Skeleton. It has a pewter fork on him. Great. Where are we going? Are we going to this guy? Tomb of St. Calidus. Oh man, what's going on? We are somewhere else. You know, if my body is just lying in the chapel undercroft like they said they are, maybe I shouldn't have prayed yet. I've knelt before the shrine of St. Calidus in Leowin and found myself transported to some sort of dark void. I can see the mace of Xenathar off in the distance, but there seems to be no way to reach it. According to Sir Ralvus, I must allow my faith in the Nine to guide me to the mace. Okay. Do I just... Nope. Ah, uh, great. Okay, I'm just back here, alright. I stepped into the void to try and reach the mace of Xenathar, but my feet meant nothing but air. I fell into the darkness. There must be a way to walk between the platforms and reach the mace. Alright, let's try this again. Wow, this is just like the, the Indiana Jones movie. Except for uh, a little bit trickier, I guess. Okay, there has to be some kind of clue. Nope, that was definitely not the clue. Okay. Jump this way. No, that didn't do nothing. Maybe my faith isn't good enough? Maybe I should 
Nah, my faith is great. What are you talking about? I have a- I have a lot of faith. I'm a really faithful guy, you know what I mean? If I just start... Maybe if I- Maybe if I equip the helm of the crusader? No, that didn't really seem to do anything. Maybe if I equip the cuirass of the crusader? No, that didn't change anything. Maybe if I... I got everything I have equipped. Okay, um... Alright, I'm willing to bet you it's invisible platform somewhere. But the question is where? No, that's definitely not one of the invisible platforms. Okay. My attempts to reach the Mace of Zendathar have been unsuccessful. No matter what I try, I cannot reach the platform. Perhaps if I continue my quest for the other relics, an answer will present itself. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Alright, I'm gonna try one more time and see if I can figure any of this out. Ha! <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, great. Well, I just killed myself. Yep, and now we're back here. Some legends say that Xenathar has close ties to Kinnereth. An idea that is supported by the manner in which the two gods' realms interact. Okay. Craftsmen devoted to Xenathar are able to create and profit from the materials provided by Kinnereth's natural world. The two work in harmony. The natural world providing for the crafts. Uh, okay. Okay, so so I think that guy's info right there is what's gonna help us out. I still have to go down here and progress the quest to the point of where it was before. So I guess let's take these guys out real quick. Well, the game just crashed, so uh, where are we at? What have we done so far? Alright, well, it looks like we didn't really lose any progress, so I guess that's good. So we, didn't, uh, we need to head back to the Priory of the Nine and figure out what what we were what's going on who do we need to talk to we need to find somebody uh for kinnereth that's what we need we need kinnereth on our side oh so which one of you guys has to do with kinnereth the boots are safeguarded by kinnereth okay herself. here we go wow you must be tested and prove yourself worthy to acquire them all right sweet okay i guess we have to Walk restart this conversation knives. i wish to see you succeed where i failed yep i was on the path to the boots of the crusader but died before I reached them. Wow, that's... Do you wish to learn what little I know? Yeah, yes, tell me more, man. Can I tell you exactly how to find the boots? For that will be up to Kinnereth. I can tell you to seek out her priests, though. West of the Imperial City, on the edge of the Great Forest, is a shrine. You will find them there, and they will tell you what you need to know. All right. All right, so let's go find this Walk shrine. Nine, Sir Knight. Um... I've spoken with the ghosts of the Knights of the Nine and learned where several parts of the armor of the Crusader are hidden. I shall return when I've collected them all. Okay, great. Thanks for the update. That's real helpful. I haven't I haven't been informed where they all are. Or maybe I have. I don't know. No, I I don't think I have. Okay. Nature's Fury. So we so let's head to way over here. And then we should head uh that way to Nature's Fury. And talk to some people, I guess. I guess that's what we need to do. Oh, Shadowmere, come on, take me there. Let us ride. I found the way net in. Great. How close are we? We're pretty close. All right, we're almost there. Oh, this must be it. Wow, it's a shrine in the middle. Oh my god, it's a troll. Oh no. All right, let's switch to fire because fire is good against trolls. That should take him out real swiftly here. Come on, come on, die, you stupid troll. Yes. Uh, I'll take that one gold and I'll take that troll fat. Thank you very much, troll. That's real handy of you. Okay. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty sweet shrine. All right, what do you guys have to say about stuff? Hey, Stan what? Stanit? Rumors? A good man who honors the Nine may visit the Way Shrines of Akatosh for blessings of speed and magicka. We can, great, thanks. Okay, must be this lady, because she's... What brings uh, you to the altar of Kinnereth, my child? She's, she's an essential NPC. All, uh, Boots of the Crusader. You would seek the holy relic Kinnereth has bestowed upon the world. Then you must prove yourself worthy. Oh, I'm worthy, all right, Kinnereth's you dumb, creations you dumb person. guard her relic, and you must pass the test before you may be granted the boots. Okay, so the puzzle is essentially kill people. I'm not taking any test. Test? What test? I cannot say what it will be, for I do not know. Kinnereth herself will decide in what manner you shall be tested. Okay. All I can do is direct you to the Grove of Trials, and remind you to heed Kinnereth's teachings. Fear and respect nature and all her creations. Fear and respect nature? Indeed. 
Nature itself is Kinnereth's domain. All its creatures are her wards. You would do well to remember this when it comes time for your test. Okay. So where is this grove anyway? Not far from here, to the west. Nestled within the great forest, it is a place many would overlook. I warn you that it is unwise to take anyone with you. You should go there alone. Very well, I should take this test. Then proceed directly to the grove, as your test has begun. Kinnereth may choose to guard you along the way. That is up to her. Uh -huh. Good luck. Well, thanks for the help, you lady. Too. Okay. This must be Kinnereth's grove right here, maybe? Yeah. So now we're going to have to fight some leveled enemies. I just stand here. I've re There we go. I've reached the Grove of Trials. I shall have to wait and see what Kinnereth has in store for me. All right. Okay, I'm waiting. I guess I'll just take some of these things. Oh, there's a bear. Holy crap. What if I don't attack it, though? It's not attacking me. Hey, bear. Hey, bear man. Is it now attacking me? I don't understand. Ow! Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, jeez. Um. A bear attacked me in the sacred grove, but I made no attempts to fight back. A cave has been revealed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That was an easy test, and it would seem the boots of the crusader are waiting inside. Wow. Well, yeah, that was, that was not a difficult puzzle. I almost did attack the bear. I was, I was very close, though. I was tempted. But, uh, but I didn't, because I'm... I'm a stalwart man. Oh, and there's a Spriggan. And what happens? There's two Spriggans. Oh, geez. Something tells me they're going to start killing me once I take these boots. I've acquired the boots of the Crusader. I've completed Sir Junkin's quest by recovering the boots of the Crusader. I should continue to search for the relics that the other ghost knights were questing for. No, they're just kind of creepily laughing. Okay, let's get out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. Okay, great. That was uh, that was an exciting quest. Now that we have the boot, oh, you know what? The boots of the Crusader. I bet that means that now we can walk directly to the um, the Mace of Zenithar. Oh, what are you doing here? We meet again. I am here to join your order, having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself. You sure it wasn't those mushrooms nearby? I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations. I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. Okay. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras to come. Oh, I see. You're just in it for the glory. You are not yet worthy. I accept. I accept. Welcome Thank to the order. You. I shall serve the order to the best of my ability. I must change into something that suits a knight. Please excuse me. Okay, great. I'll take any help I can get. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn down people to, to die for me. I'm not. I'm not a dummy. All right. I have the boots of the Crusader now. Oh, you know what? I don't even need to talk to this guy. Now that I have the boots of the Crusader, I should head back to Zenithar's place. Where was that? That was in Leowin, right? Yeah, Leowin. All right. Now we have. All we have to do now is head down to the Chapel Undercroft yet again. Potentially fight more ghosts. We should probably also equip these boots. All right. Let's throw in these boots. You know, I'm going to throw all this stuff on. There we go. Look at that. Serene beauty. Ah, oh, I'm so beautiful. Where are these dumb boots? What the hell? Here we go. Boots of the Crusader. Let's, okay, let's continue. All right, yo, yeah, wow, there we go. Look. Well, that was fantastic. What an easy puzzle that is. And here's the Mace of the Crusader. I've recovered the Mace of the Crusader. I've completed Sir Ralvis's quest. By recovering the Mace of the Crusader, I should continue to search for the relics that the other ghosts were questing for. My attempts to reach the Mace of Zenithar have been unsuccessful. No matter what, I, what? No matter what I try, I cannot reach the other platform. Perhaps the solution lies the other relics. What are you talking about? I was just successful, you stupid... Oh my god. Okay, sure, whatever. Oh my god, it- holy crap! Oh, take this, you stupid... Man! Whatever you are. What are you, an Aurorin? Wow. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to hit that guy. Let's take out these friggin' jerks. Yeah, eat that, you dummy. What a what a dumb man. Think going the wrong direction. Ah. They look pretty cool, though, I gotta say that. Can I, can I have your armor? No, I can't. 
Oh, they're Daedra. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Let's take this guy down. I'm, on your side. I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm trying to hit this other guy. There we go. What do you have on you? Petty soul gem. After recovering the mace of the Crusader, I found the minions of Umaril attacking the chapel of Zenithar. They were all defeated, and the Leowen chapel escaped desecration. That's good. Good. All right. No souls in it. I, I can't believe it. We survived. By the grace of the Nine, we survived. No, we survived because I know what I'm no doing. No small part to you, Sir Knight. Yeah, thanks. By thanks, your man. will and the will of the Nine, the chapel of Zenithar is held against this blasphemer. Yes. Sir. I pledge my sword. I wish to join you in your quest to restore the Knights of the Nine and defeat this Umaril. All right, let's take him down. I accept. Welcome to the Order. I can only hope to match your bravery and valor. I am honored to serve by your side. I might have to... Allow me to fetch more suitable equipment. I shall return shortly. Okay, great. I wonder what happens if I say you're not yet worthy. I might have to say that to I some I thought of them. for sure that we would meet the same end as our comrades in Anvil. Thank you, Sir Knight. We are in your debt. Oh, I see. You're being kind to me now, huh, you prick? Farewell. Now that I've done the thing you thought I couldn't do and then saved your butt. So now that we've done that, um, let's head back to the Priory of the Nine. Okay, so let's talk to this guy, uh, because I believe he has I know another where quest. I you may find the Gauntlets of the Crusader. For I was the one who lost them. Wow, what a loser. Though many know where they are, they are still lost. I believe there is something you must do in order to retrieve them. Okay. What must I do? Listen to my tale and learn of the gauntlet's fate. Sure. Please tell me. When the order fractured, I followed Sir Biric into war, taking the gauntlets with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. Okay. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. Okay, great. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. Oh, you were cursed? Okay. Cursed? What do you mean? A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper. And struck him. What? He's a beggar My coming to a chapel. My landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead. Oh my God! Killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. Wow, what an idiot! I left the chapel at once, of course, but the damage was done. I was weak, constantly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. Good. Yeah, but what about the gauntlets, though? Ah, yes. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlet slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Okay. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still, in Coral's chapel. Uh-huh. You must prove to Stendar you are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. Perhaps they can help you. Okay, I get this. This is like Walk a with the nine, Sir Knight. This is like a sword in the stone, Thor's hammer kind of situation. All right, let's go check this out. I bet I'm a I'm worthy to lift Thor. I mean the gauntlets, Stendar's mercy. So we have to head to Coral and head to another ch head to another chapel. Um, I wonder where the gauntlets are going to be hanging out. If they're just hanging out right in the middle of the chapel, that'll be kind of awkward. All right, well here we are. Um, where are the gauntlets? Oh yeah, they're right there, okay. The gauntlets are too heavy to move. Alright, so I can't just lift them straight up. So let's talk to... Let's talk to this guy, maybe? Well, a pleasure to speak. Gauntlets of the Crusader? Oh, those. You'll want to speak to Arelder about them. Oh, okay. He's in charge of keeping people away from them. Uh, why would he want... Why'd you want to keep people away from them? He didn't keep me away from them. Where the hell is, the, the hell is this guy? Haven't read much though. Oh, there we go. He's what just staring at him. Here, my son? I'm not your son, you, you friggin' creep. Gauntlets of the Crusader. Ah, yes. The gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. Great. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. Okay, I guess that makes sense. What is your interest in them? If I may ask. Well, considering I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing the rest of the armor of the Crusader, I kind of want to get them. 
I've come to retrieve them. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They don't move. N not even a bit. As if they're the heaviest things in the world. Yeah, but what if I'm the don't strongest you know the man in the world? Behind them? I'm not uh, familiar with all the details, but I know roughly what happened. Yeah, me too. I'd like to know their story, though. Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old order did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. Yep. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this knight by Stendhal, I think. Yep, okay. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. Kellen? Who is Kellen? Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very night from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. What? He suffers from it now. What? He that came sucks. here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but, ah, uh, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. Alright, well I guess let's go find Kellen. Good day. sounds interesting. Oh. Perhaps I'll have to read it as well. Looks like he's somewhere out here. Oh wait. Where is he? Is he down here? Okay. Somewhere in here, huh? Alright, so let's go find Kellen. Looks like he's over this way. And there he is. How's it going? Hi there. Hi, Kellen. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelda found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Uh, he hasn't found a cure, but I'm here to help you out. Gauntlets to the Crusader! You've seen them, I assume. The only evidence of what happened so many years ago. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? Well, I make sense. I tried for hours, until my whole body ached, and I could barely move. I lay there on the floor next to them, weeping. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I wouldn't be if I was I've in your situation. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. Okay, so... Looks like maybe... For you? Oh. Of course. Let's ask him about it again. I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendhal want from me? He wants you to prove yourself, man. Kurt. Ah. So you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad. But until it gotten worse over time. Yeah. I'd come here, to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. Oh, no. Arelda has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. Huh, okay. Areldor? I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, there's something else there. Okay. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? I don't know, but I'll find what out. What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. All right, let's go talk to this freaking Ereldar. What a jerk, not telling him the truth. What a freaking prick he is. Hey, Arelder, has a what? What are you, you doing know. to this man? Welcome, Knight Commander. Knight Commander, I've upgraded apparently. Curse! It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who have such a burden placed on them through no fault of their own. Yep. But, but if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. Yeah, but what if we can lift the curse, man? Kellen. I, I. Cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do. You just it. told me who knows what could be I done, wish I prick. Could help him. Truly, I do, but I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. Uh huh. What are you talking about? The curse. I know what would lift it, 
But I cannot do it. Oh, you have to take the curse the from him, huh? The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. Yeah, you are. You're a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Uh, something's telling me I'm gonna have to be that guy. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, I guess let's go pray at the altar of the night. Do you wish to pray to Stendar for the power to lift Kellen's curse? Yes. I prayed at the altar in the chapel of Stendar and have been granted the ability to lay hands on Kellen. I need to see him at once. Alright, let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to him, to Kellen, and then become the weakest person in all of existence. How's it going, man? Come back to see the doomed man, have you? I've come to become the doomed man. Uh. Oh, do I have to? Do I have to use this power on him? Restore fatigue, ten points on touch. Well. I've lifted the curse from Kellen, which means taking it on myself. As a result, I am weary and my fatigue has been affected. With the curse lifted, I can now retrieve the gauntlets of the Crusader. You... How well, that's great. You? I feel good. I feel... good. Okay, you sound creepy, though. I don't though. feel like death. I feel like... running! Wow. Well, your head just freaked out for a second there. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Seems like he's having a good time. Look at me! Alright, well I just, uh, just crashed once again, so let's go take a look at these gauntlets real quick. Let's go grab them, I should be able to pick them up by now. Gauntlets of the Crusader, I've recovered the Gauntlets of the Crusader. I've completed Sir Casimir's quest, by, rec by recovering the Gauntlets of the Crusader, I should continue to search for the relics that the other ghost knights were, were talking about. Okay, I want to take a look at the curse that was added onto me. Damage fatigue by five. Okay, well, that's not really that bad. Curse of the Consumed. Alright, I don't understand what the big deal was. Just five points. That's not really... Not really anything to, uh... Worry about. Ah, uh, jeez. I feel like this game crashes more and more all the time. Okay. Uh, so let's head back to the Prior of the Nine. And then I'm probably... Probably gonna end it here. What the heck is going on over here? What... Who are you people? And what's with this dog? Oh, oh great. Now they're attacking each other. Dukamir. What can I do for you? Who the heck are you? Liberty is a region of Goodbye. Yeah. Are you beating up my horse? Alright, well I guess I'm gonna end it here. I don't know what is going on. I should probably help out my horse real quick. Alright, I guess I won't attack him. I don't know what is going on. You guys just just duke it out, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next next time we come back, we'll be doing some, uh... Oh, it looks like the horse killed him. We'll be doing some more Knights of the Nine. I will see you guys then. What can I what do the for you? <laughs> All right, welcome back to more Knights of the Nine. Today, we are gonna go back into the Priority Nine and do some more quests, I suppose. If you're wondering why there wasn't a video on Tuesday, it's because my power was out, and I there was absolutely no way I could have done a video. Sir Knight, oh, hello. Thank RK you are back. I have terrible news. Oh no, that's no good. Sir Roderick. I think he's dead. Is that Sir Rod okay. Sir Roderick, who's that? A holy knight, like you, questing for the relics at the Prophet's call. Well, I was his squire. I'm the real I chosen, he was chosen man, by okay? The gods to reclaim the relics. Yeah, but what happened though? At first things were going well. He prayed at all the shrines and received a vision, a disturbing vision. Uh, okay, my the vision wasn't of that Sir disturbing. Baron spoke to me was all he said. Uh-huh. We must put him to rest. Okay. We traveled back and forth across Colovia. He was always asking about an old noble family, the Vlindrils. Right. Finally, he found what he was looking for. We went to Underpaul Cave, and there he fell. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he died well. He did. I owe him my life. He faced the evil wraith of Lord Vlindril and told me to run. Right. And I did. 
I know I should have stayed with him. Perhaps together we could have destroyed that evil thing. Now, it sounds like he was meant to die. What was Sir Roderick looking for? He said that Sir Beric's tomb was an underpole cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. Wow. Okay. He had learned that Sir Beric had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the crusader, but then turned to evil. Oh, well, that's convenient. Essentially, the two Sir things Roderick I still need left. To find the relics within Sir Beric's tomb, and he did. Oh, okay, sure. But we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindril, Sir Beric. Wait, so is this is this wraith Sir Beric, or is it Lord v Vlindril? I don't... Is the, the same guy? You know where the relics are. Yes, my lord. And I brought you. Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them. The Greaves. The Holy Relic. They're yours. Oh, well, that was really easy. Thanks, man. I'm glad you decided just to bring them to me. Um, sure. And the sword? What happened to it? The Wraith. It used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the Holy Weapon, but it did. It screamed as it struck. Huh. Okay, sure. Take it easy. You're safe now. Jeez, Sorry. man. I remember Sir Roderick saying something about the sword before we went to Underpool. It may be important. Okay, what did he say? He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil. Well, okay, that yeah, sure, that's important. That it may yeah, have sure, to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. Yeah, but what if I don't... What if I don't want to not make it evil? You did well, Lathan. Is that your Thank name? Thank you, sir. Knight. How do I know that? I would ask a boon if I could. No. Although I know I do not deserve it. No, you definitely don't. Would you make me a knight of the nine? I want to dedicate myself to ridding the world of evil. I owe it to Sir Roderick. Not yet. You're not ready. Yeah, let's just do it. Not yet. You're not ready, punk. I, I understand. I'll be patient. <laughs> I'll stay here and train every day until you decide I'm ready. I won't give up. I swear it. Okay, great. Yes. So essentially... What's the news what, from the other uh, why am I, I'm an over-encumbered... Ah, oh, that son I, of a gun. Okay. Let's see here. What do we got? He gave me the Greaves of the Crusader, I think. Right there. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty swell indeed. Now we just have to get the sword because screw this mace. I don't want no stupid mace. Anything I can drop because I, you know, once again, I'm I'm still over encumbered. I didn't I didn't resolve that issue. Land I'm of the still Ultimate. over. How much am I over encumbered by? I'm over encumbered by a lot. I don't know why I didn't bother to check that, but that's a huge amount. Okay, uh, what can I do about this? All right, we can it finally move Somerset around. Isle I'm just gonna go. Does this... I'm gonna assume that this chest doesn't reset, and then I'm gonna just put something in it. Alright, there we go. So that's... that's pretty good. Alright, so now what... what are we... what are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing anymore. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna... Yes, we're gonna find Sir Roderick. We have a... we're at a quest to... to... to recover the sword. The evil sword of evil. Um... where was it? Let's get outside. Alright, so we are headed to... this area right here. So I guess I'm gonna drop off at Apple Watch and then head... Southwest to get there. Let's jump on Shadowmere, and we need to head uh, this this way. Yeah, okay, this way. We need to head this way. What is over here? What what is this? this oh, this is the Sword of the Crusader. Okay, I was just con concerned as to what was going on here, but it's I meant to read that. Oh well. So yeah, so make sure if if you're ever wondering why there's no video and you're and you want to you know more information, my Twitter account is the best place to figure out what's going on. Oh Jesus! Oh. Freaking out, what the heck? Is it just me or does this may suck? Well, the game crashed, so that's really great. That makes me, uh, that makes me feel, feel super happy, that's for sure. And now I can't get up this stupid mountain. Oh my god, come on, horse. Let's move it. I don't got all day. I gotta go kill that mountain lion. I gotta, I gotta go do other things. I gotta edit this video for today. <laughs> Alright, so let's get off of this guy. I think we should... Sneak. Is the mountain lion still there? I don't even see him. I've arrived at Underpaul Cave, the location of Lord Vlindril's grave. Sir Roger died somewhere inside, battling the foul wraith that now wields the sword of the Crusader. Okay. Not even... Some gravestones here. I don't even see that stupid mountain lion anymore. Alright, let's just head inside. Who cares? I'm not gonna worry about that dumb lion. Uh, wow, that looks pretty spooky, that's for sure. I was gonna do a special Halloween episode on, uh, on Halloween, of course. 
but uh, I wasn't able to do it. So I think I'm going to move it to, to next week. I'll, I, I don't really want to not do it, and I was going to do it today, but I realized I just did not have time to uh, get it all set up. So I figured the easiest thing to do would just be do more of this, and then I'll do it, I'll probably do it on next Tuesday. Wow, this is a seriously spooky cave. Holy moly. Okay. Come at me, you stupid skeleton. Oh, that's right, that doesn't do anything great. I don't even know why I bothered using this mace. What a... What a waste. Alright, there we go. We took that stupid skeleton down. No, nothing good on him. Alright, let's keep moving. Um... Well, anything in this is... Can I loot that? No, that's nothing. Nothing good. Oh, jeez. Another skelet... Skeleton. More like a skeleton of bricks. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean, honestly. Do I have any... Do I have any potions of sorcery? That would be... That would be wicked handy. It appears that I don't. I don't see any at the very least. It wouldn't be the first time that I've not noticed it, but... Yeah, I definitely don't see any. Okay, that's good. Great. I'm glad I'm in this situation. What a pre what a great pre uh, predicament to be in. Oh, great. Now there's multiple skeletons. All right, so let's try and take this guy down now. Is there anybody else around here? No. Okay. Let's take him down. Another another epic fight. Just slowly whittling this guy down to nothing. You know, people people wonder why I never level up, and it's because anytime I level up. Oh my god. Anytime I level up, everybody suddenly becomes ah. super tough. And I feel like I've just started the game again. And it, it just ticks me off so much. I hate it so much. Like when you level up, you wanna feel like you wanna feel like you're getting stronger. You wanna feel like you're making progress. And that's that's just not holy crap, that's a lot of blood. That's just not how this game makes you feel. It kinda makes you feel like when you level up as if you just went backwards in leveling instead. What is the enchantment on this thing? Fire damage, 8 points. Oh, there's no enchantment right now. That's great. That explains a lot. I wonder if I can grab a weapon. Let's grab this. Oh, great. Now I'm over-encumbered again. That's awesome. I guess let's just throw that on for... That'll make that'll make a serious difference. Alright, now I'm gonna go get one of my Oblivion Stones. What do I have? Where are they? Here we go. Damage, health, 10 points on strike. That sounds good enough for me. Alright, let's grab this and let's just call it... A stupid axe and create. Okay, so let's go apply this. Let's go equip this stupid axe and uh, take these guys down. Your crimes have made you unfit to wield the Crusader's wallet relics. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. That's all right. When I take this thing off, you know what? Holy crap, my health is a little too low for my comfort. Um, do I have any health potions? No, I don't. Okay, okay, great. Let's see if we can take these guys down now. Well, this is doing the trick. It's doing something, at least. Yeah, there we go. Ouch. Yep. Fudging friggin' frick. Frick. Okay. Where am I now? I'm over here. Great. Alright, so I cleared up my inventory a little bit, so that helped out. Now let's equip this thing and uh, just throw it onto this dwarven axe instead. We'll call this stupid dwarven axe. There we go. That's, that's good enough for me. Alright. Uh, I should probably equip that now that I think about it. There we go. And let's go take out whoever's next. Which, who knows who's next? Probably the skeleton. I don't think I killed them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Let's take this guy down. Alright, you stupid skeleton. I'm sick of your antics. Always doing stuff and, and not doing other things. You know what I mean? There we go. Okay, well, he's dead. Uh, he's not gonna have anything decent on him, so I'm just gonna keep moving. How many uses do I have? I have 52 uses on that. That's not horrible. That'll be enough to get me... Get me somewhere, I suppose. Alright, let's go take out these zombies. There we go. Okay, he's dead. What do you got on you? Mort flesh? What's that? What's that do? Nothing good. Okay. Alright, I'll probably say, uh, wait real... Wait real quick, so that way I can get my health up, get a quick save out. And let's keep moving on. How many uses do I have left? I have 21 uses. Okay, sure. All right, I guess let's head through this door. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if it's the right way, but it's somewhere. All right, looks like it's definitely not the right way. We need to head back this way. Well, I'm glad I wasted all that time. Well, it's crashed twice so far, so that's awesome. Um, I'm all the way back here, so I think I'm just going to go through this door. And who cares? I'll just. I'll just keep going. I'll keep trudging through. I'm not gonna deal with that crap. I'm. 
I'm not. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. Is it just me, or is for some reason the the particle effects on this fire not working properly? All right, whatever. Who cares? That guy's dead. Okay, I'm up here now. All right. Sure. There. What do you mean there are enemies nearby? There's nobody nearby. There's just that skeleton over there. Okay. Oh, oh right, okay. I'm supposed to go down here. I'm such an idiot. For some reason... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I did such a waste... Wasted detour. Alright, we're gonna go down here. This is where it's telling us to go. And there's just a mud crab. Oh my god, that's a tough mud crab. Holy crap. There we go. Is there another mud crab? I bet I could use a fire spell on it and kill it immediately. Oh my... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Ouch. That wasn't very nice. Who set that there? Oh my god, now there's a freaking skeleton. Oh my god, why is this, why is this quick? No, stop. <laughs> why? No. This is not good. This is bad. All right, well, I used that up to get my health up, but now I have no magicka, so it's like, you know, I can't do any damage now. So that's not really that helpful, honestly. I wonder if I can get up there, actually. I have curiosity. Oh yeah, here we go. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe if I just crouch, eventually they'll go away. I don't think so, though. I think they'll continue to stare at me. All right, there, we took him down, and now I'm just gonna wait uh, an hour, and... All right, so now, now we've waited, we got everything healed all the way back up. Let's head down this way and hope we don't run into any other similar situations. That would suck. All right, now we're in this side, this whatever this is. And, um, okay. Bones? If I take some of the bones? No? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, this is some weird puzzle one. Holy crap! Anything good in this? No, why is, why is everything in this dungeon filled with crap? Not even like a health potion, or a magicka potion, nothing, just dumb gold, and some, and a dumb lockpick. That's not, that's not helpful. It's not even helpful in this dungeon. Oh my god, it's the ghost, and he has a sword, I wonder if that's the ghost of Sir... Sir Bedrick? Sir Bled... Sir Bledrick? I don't know. Hey man, how's it going? What's up, dude? Oh my god, that's definitely the ghost. Oh god, now he's attacking me. I don't know what I expected. I'm currently silenced, that's bad. Okay, that's... that's bad. I missed, good. That did nothing, holy crap. This is, uh, not gonna be an easy fight. He's making some weird screams. Come at me, man! Yeah, that's right! I suppose this is a decent halloween kind of thing. I mean, it's a ghost. Ah! He's, he's screaming. We're not that powerful. You know, it's all the tropes. It's all the Halloween tropes that you love. I don't wanna get silenced again. That's not good for me. I mean, maybe if I had a decent weapon to hit him with. But I don't. No, oh, I'm silenced. <laughs> Jesus! Ouch! Oh, it's because my fatigue is so low. We gotta get that back up. All right, he's almost down. We we got him on the ropes, man. Come on! I just need to get some more magic. Oh. That sword looks like a really crappy sword, to be honest with you. There we go. We took him out. Oh my God! Holy crap! The wraith ward of the wraith of Ward Vlindril is destroyed. I need to reclaim the sword of the Crusader that he somehow twisted to his evil purpose. Wow! Jeez, that was a that was an intense death. Alright, let's grab that ectoplasm, Sword of the Crusader. I've recovered the Sword of the Crusader, but it's just been desecrated by the foul wraith that wielded it. I should take it to the Chapel of R.K. in Shadenhall to reconsecrate it to its holy purpose. I wonder what happens if I equip it. In attempting to use the defiled Sword of the Crusader, I've received a terrible curse. I can only hope that this curse will be lifted when I reconsecrate the sword at the Chapel of R.K. Good. What's the curse? Stunted Magicka, weakness to f Holy crap! Wow, that's a- that is a horrible curse. Good, I'm glad I decided to use this, so that way I could get that really terrible curse, and, uh, if I happen to fight anybody else, I am totally screwed. I wonder what's down here. Well, that was an exciting adventure, going down into that lake. Okay, sure, now let's head out of here. Uh, what's through this door? Oh, no, a rat! Eat it! That must be Sir Roderick. Sir Roderick! What do you got on you? Claymore freezing, that sounds pretty good. All right, well, it looks like we're just heading back out the way we came in, so that's always good. Uh, you always know that there's no enemies, usually, when you do that, so... And we're out of there! Okay, great! So now we just have to head back to... Shadenhall, and we need a 
reconsecrate this sword and hopefully remove that horrible curse that I uh, that I got by equipping it. I don't. I guess it makes sense. I don't know what I really expected. I thought it would just be a cool evil sword, but but no, they're gonna make sure they're gonna make sure you know that this sword is no good. Even if you are an evil guy like myself, it's a no good sword. I wonder what Lord Vlindril did to uh, receive such a horrible- Oh my god, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick because, uh, you know, once again, I have that really bad curse. You know? The one that, that makes me really easy to kill. Fortunately, these guys aren't doing any magicka damage, so that's good. Oh, that guy is- Oh, Jesus! Ah! And that guy's dead. Okay, now we just need to take out this last guy over here. This is really bad. Get him, guards! Get him! I can't fight him because I'm gonna be dead! They, yeah, they got him. Okay, sweet. Umarel's Aurorans have been destroyed. Shadenhall Chapel is safe for now. I can now reconsecrate the Sword of the Crusader to... to arcade, blah, blah, blah. Let's get this Daedra heart. And I don't think I... Oh, no, I do. Okay. Grab that Greater Soul Gem. That's handy. The Sword of the Crusader has been reconsecrated. I now possess all eight of the Crusader's relics. I shall return to the Priory to consult with my knights about how to attack and destroy Umaril. I am now over-encumbered. Good. Alright, so let's head back to this chapel now and, uh, and consult with my knights of the nine. Also, I should probably, uh, that, that guy, what was his name? Lathen? Lathen? I should probably tell him he's a member now. Lord Crusader. Yes. The prophet is here. He's just arrived. Oh, you mean that stupid guy? He seemed to know you were coming, told me to wait for you, and here you are. Uh huh. Come. He is preaching to that's the not very profity. I mean, that's not very impressive. Speak to him at once. Yeah, you know that guy who keeps on showing up this prior of the nine. I bet you he's gonna come back, and when he does, you will be impressed. What the? Wait, why are these guys here? Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights, and we would like to offer you our sword. Wait, you didn't mention that last time. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Okay. Will you have us? Yeah, sure, whatever. You won't regret it, sir. You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've outfitted myself. See ya. Uh, oh, there's Lathan. Yeah, Lathan. As I said, I'll work as long as it takes to be worthy to join the Order. Am I ready to become a Knight of the Nine? Yeah, you sure. Thank Why not? Thank you, Sir Knight. I will do my best to vindicate your faith in me. I must gather the equipment I need. I'll return shortly. Alright, so everybody's going off. I'm just gonna wait, because I, I want them all to be here to witness my glory. Are they coming back? They're not back yet. Oh, here they come. Wow, look at them all. They're all they're all decked out. All right, you're going to sit down or what? You're just going to stand there? Okay. Guess let's talk to this creepy old prophet guy. How's it going? You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. Yes, I have. No I mean, you have I was accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. What? I before previously You what? are an embodiment of Pelinol White Streak. The bane of Umarul the Unfeathered. Uh huh. The time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Umarul lies hid in the ancient fane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. Right. I am ready then? No. Should you face Umarul, you would suffer the same fate as Pelinal. But times change, and even the sound shape good. of the divine itself must change with it. Right. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them, and they have become nine. You mean Talos? Aye, with the apotheosis of Tiber Septum, the face of the divine was transformed. Talos ascended, and the eight became <laughs> nine. Right. So, although you wear the armor of the gods, it is incomplete. A relic of the old ways. 
and the old gods. You dumb old gods. Who cares about them? How do I destroy Umaral then, though? As a proven guardian of this realm, and a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia, Talos grants you his sacred blessing. Wow, that's good. What is it? With the ancient gifts of the eight and the new gift of the one, you are ready to face Umaril. What does the blessing do? It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm upon his death. It will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, wow. utterly and for all time. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty handy. You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Pelino learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. Right. But you can do what Pelino could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not. Because the nine fight with you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Um, what kind of foe is Umaril? Umaril cannot be bested in his physical form by any normal means. His blows can strike down the mightiest of warriors in a single stroke. That sounds bad. That sounds like I'm not prepared. The eight created the relics to withstand Umaril's fell power. Do not attempt to face him without this. Divine protection. I wonder what happens if I do face him without it. I want to know about Umaril's spirit. When Umaril joined with the Daedra, his spirit expanded beyond this realm. His physical form can travel between realms, but his spirit is bound. Right. When his body is destroyed, his spirit travels back to oblivion and is reformed in the fires of creation. With the armor of the gods and the blessing of Talos, you will be able to follow him where Pelinor could not and destroy his very spirit. Right. Once his spirit is destroyed, he will be completely obliterated, erased from all realms of existence. Sounds pretty good. What is Garlas Malatar? Garlas Malatar was the westernmost outpost of the Aeliad Empire. It watched over what we call the Abyssinian Sea. Okay. Since his return, Umaril has taken Garlas Malatar as his lair. Okay, that so he's there right now. where you must seek him out. That's all. I'm ready. Your knights will assemble at Garlas Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. Oh, Greetings, I guess he's going to pray now. All right, so everybody's going to head out there, but I am not going to head there right now because I'm going to end this episode right here. I will see you guys next time. Oh, my God. Okay. See you, later. See you guys there. You're just going to walk there, sure. Who's this? Who's, who is this? Sir Lathan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, at long last, it's finally time to defeat Umaril the Unfeathered. So let's head to... Um... Let's head to wherever we're supposed to be going. Head way over here. I guess I've already been there. No, I haven't found it. Okay. I, you know, the the look of these icons on the map always confuses me. So let's head to this Gate of Oblivion, and then we can head to Garlas Malatar. I think that's I think that's what it's called. Everything we've been working up to this entire quest line has been building up to this to defeat. Now oh, let's grab Shadmar to Shadmir to defeat uh, uh, Umaril the Unfeathered. So that's pretty exciting, I think, in my opinion. Oh, is this a doomstone over here? Let's go see what it has to say. Actually, 
Doomstone, or, or is it called something else? I don't remember. Oh yeah, no, that is a Doomstone. Okay, I don't want, I don't want your stupid conjured crap. I think I've actually, I think I've actually looked at that one before, in a video. So, I'm glad you got to see that repeat. Oh look at that! It's already showing up, showing up on our compass. We're almost there. That's pretty good. That's pretty exciting. Found Garlas Malatar. Looks like it's over here. I'm gonna assume that everybody everybody has already left and got here before me because I didn't see anybody. I think they pretty sure they scampered off in the last one. Oh, I've arrived at Garlas Melitar. My sworn foe Umaril the Unfeathered awaits me inside. The final duty in my holy quest is to find him and destroy him. Yep, that's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much my final duty. So I guess let's go see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go duty it. You know what I mean? I think I think you do. I think, I think you know exactly what I mean. All right, let's get our sword ready. Am I even, am I even decently prepared for this battle? I mean, I have this sword. It has 90 uses. It's not a lot of uses. Should probably put these boots on, I guess. Almost over encumbered, but fortunately we're not. So I guess that's good. Uh, who cares? You know, whatever. Let's just go do it. It doesn't matter. Although I am kind of curious as to what happens if you try and face him without the armor, so I might do that first. Do you think we took them by surprise? Uh... Knights of the Lion! Lion! Wait, where'd you guys come from? <laughs> I don't remember seeing you. Let's push this button, who knows what that does. I can't move. I'm stuck. Oh, um, let's get some over-encumbered. <laughs> I was... I thought I was, like, waiting for something to happen. I was like, anything's gonna happen now. I'm, They've- they prevented me from moving, so clearly something's about to happen. I'm gonna- even though that sword is really weighing me down, I'm gonna keep it because, uh... Because it's really handy. What did- what do I- what am I wearing? I don't need- I should wear this. I should wear that instead. What am I doing? I don't need this ring of- I don't need this necklace of water walking. Friggin' useless! For the time being. I mean, it's not- not totally useless, but... Come on, guys! Let's take them out! I- I fell! <laughs> I'm pathetic. Yeah, he is pathetic. What a pathetic loser. Oh my god, look at that. What a that is that's major pathetic. I mean if you thought if you thought he was pathetic before, well well look at him now. Okay, well everybody went this way, so I'm gonna assume they know what's what they're doing. So I guess let's just follow them. I mean, yeah, you guys just go ahead and you kill everything, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look around, do some looting, you know. No big deal. I guess I'll I guess I'll give a hand out. Nice job guys. Good job. Good work. Good work team. Everybody deserve everybody deserves pizza afterwards. I mean I'm not paying for it, but you definitely deserve it. I, that's for certain. I'm not gonna say you don't. Because that wouldn't be good team building, it, you know, and that's what I'm about here. It's team building. Uh, making sure making sure my team feels wanted and desired in their work. In their working environment. Hey, what's in this? Somnolus frond. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I don't know, whatever. Oh, I didn't mean to press that button. <laughs> See, my sword is definitely gonna be running out of. Uh... Oh yeah, you guys take him out. Definitely gonna be running out of an en en enchantment pretty quick. So maybe I should maybe I should use something else in the meantime. Do I have a soul gem so I can soul gemify that up? Because that that would be really handy in the fight with uh, Umaril. Did I just see one? Yes, I did. Alright, I'm gonna throw that on there. That Welkin Stone has nothing to do with it. Let's just get rid of these. I should use a repair hammer. I bet you might... Actually, I bet you... Actually, I can't... I can't even use a repair hammer anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of these two things. They're weighing me down. Why does this weigh anything? That's stupid. I don't need this silver plate or this friggin' thing. Why do I have those? Or this dumb skull. That's definitely weighing me down. There we go. Okay. Good job, guys. Also, for some reason, now it's at 300. It was just at 260 a second ago. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did to deserve such... If I equip something? Oh, you know what? It's because I equipped that necklace. Oh, great. Good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's keep Let's keep moving. Is this where you guys went? Uh, looks like it. You just... Looks like it opens up into a huge room up ahead. Well, uh, thanks. It opens up into a... You drew up ahead. Well, you guys are just real friggin' handy. Is did we really lose like everybody else? I wonder if dare face us. Oh, well, there's somebody. Somebody else dead? 
I don't, see, I don't remember seeing any dead bodies, to be honest with you. Aside from, you know, aside from these guys. Maybe they, or maybe the other guys just kind of bailed. I mean, you know, I don't blame them. It's a tough journey, but to be fair, they did sign up for this. I mean, I have them, I have them in contract. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get my lawyers. If they, if they did bail. Oh snap! Oh snap! <laughs> I'm not ready for this fight. You guys follow me. I'll bring them to my. I'll bring them to my fighters. They'll beat them up. That's for certain. Wait, what am I doing? I have I have spells. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Take that. Oh my god, that did nothing. Holy crap. Run for it. I wish I had an area of effect damage spell. That'd be really handy right now. Oh no, I'm out of magicka. Good thing I've been grabbing these Welkin stones. Oh, there's two there's two more Welkin stones. Oh my god. Get those. Yeah. There we go. Now keep booking it. Come on, this way. Follow me. Oh yeah, I didn't use them. I'm such an... Oh my god, where did these things come from? I don't want these pewter cups. Alright, you guys take them out. You guys do it. Uh, they're not... Oh, well, there's another guy. Okay. Oh, there's two more. How many is that? That's... That's only six. So I'm missing two guys. Okay, sure. You guys not you're not gonna well he's dead, so whatever. Let's see if they'll let's see if they'll follow me this time. No, oh, they really don't want to follow me through here, huh? Okay, so this is open remotely. Uh, I'm gonna assume that button does the trick. Since they're not gonna follow me, I'm not gonna even bother because I don't who cares? Let's do it! Come on, yeah, everybody, you you guys go do it. You do the thing, you kill him, okay? That's what we all came here to do. We all came here to kill them, so we should just go ahead and take care of that. I'm honestly surprised. That's the best you can do. They're, well, I mean, I guess I I don't have two of them. I don't know what happened to those two guys, but I'm surprised more are still alive. It's almost hit my own guy. Let's grab these welcome stones. There we go. Good job, guys. I mean, I'm just conserving my energy because you know I I have to face I have to face Umaril, uh probably all by myself. Almost certainly all by myself, so uh, I might as let the might as well let these guys take care of this. I yeah, I know I didn't mean it. That's what, see, no, that's why I'm not taking part. What happened to your weapon, dude? Get your, get a weapon. You died. Oh, that's a, not even the guy. Oh my god, he's coming back to life. That's bad. Since he's dead, he doesn't need those. Okay, um, is there something I'm supposed to do? Because. Uh, it appears, looks like they're maybe coming back to life, and uh, that's that's not good. I guess I'll push forward. They can they can go over there and face. Uh, something tells me they're not gonna make it, but uh, you know, oh well. They knew what they were signing up for. Not my not my job. That's a button. What's that button do? Sir Thedrit is unconscious. Okay, so one of them can't die. That's good to know. Oh crap! What's happening? Oh my god! I smashed it. Holy smokes! Oh jeez. Whoa. What? What happened to everybody? Okay. Did time freeze? Did I, was I taken to a an alternate dimension? I don't really know. Alright, I'm guessing we're getting pretty close to facing Umaril, the unfeathered. Oh my god, oh Jesus. What's happening there? I don't really know. All right, where's that Wilkinstone? Let's grab that. All right, eat this, you son of a gun! All right, so we took that we took that moron out. So let's keep moving forward. Is there anything good in here? We pushed a sorcery. That's sort of useful. So that's good, I guess. You know, I mean, I'll take it. It might come in handy. You never know. All right. Oh, there's a sweet looking pool over here. Oh my God! All this fire, and that thing's going up on its own. What's in this pool? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oops. No, don't quick load. Don't do that. Oh my god, please. What are you doing? File does not exist. Thank freaking god. Okay. Alright, so, like I said before, I want to find out what happens if I face him without this stuff. And since, apparently, I don't have anything else to not wear with it, I'm just gonna take it off. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Ha! Shock damage effect resisted. Good. I'm glad I, I'm glad I resisted that. I mean, 
you know, who knows how bad it could have been if I didn't resist it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this greater staff of storms, and I'm also going to heal up a little bit. Okay, yeah. I missed. Good. I only had I only had four uses and I missed one of them. Oh, he's resisting that. Okay, so he I need to do fire damage to him, I guess. Yeah, you have a lot to say, that's for certain. He's a pretty cool looking dude, I, I'll give him that. He's pretty intense. Pretty epic battle, that's for certain. They they really they really built it up and they, they delivered. And... Yeah, he's dead. Good. Okay, he's got nothing on him. What? I've destroyed Umaril's physical form. If the prophet told me true, I must cast the blessing of Talos on myself. And I will follow Umaril's spirit to a place where he can be destroyed. What happened to sword? Can I can I grab it? No. Oh, I can. Umaril's sword. Umaril's sword added. What's it do? Shock damage. Oh, that makes sense. Well, I'm over encumbered. I'll just drop it and I'll I'll grab it on the way back. Nothing else good on him. Too bad I can't get his armor, but I guess it's probably part of his part of his freaking body, most likely. All right, I'm gonna follow him in just a second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure if there's there's nothing around here that's useful. Like those Welkin stones, that's pretty useful. And this... Oh, that's a Varla stone! Oh, jeez! Oh, well that's gonna be really handy because I don't have any decent... Any decent soul gems of use. And if it's not handy, well then it'll be handy later in, later in my life. Varla stones are awesome. Okay, so let's, let's cast... Where's the spell? Blessing of Talos. My agility is being drained. Good. My speed is being drained. Also good. I love it when things are drained. Oh my god. Oh, here we are. Oh my- Okay. Sure. Whatever floats your boat, man. Let's take this son of a gun down. Yeah. Eat this, you freaking. Ouch. That really hurt, man. That wasn't very nice. Haven't you ever heard of- haven't you ever heard of playing nice with others? I don't think he has, quite frankly. Alright, come on, eat this! Ouch! Yep, I'm surprised- Oh my god, my blade skills increased! Wow! I'm surprised this hasn't run out- I got five more uses, okay. I figured it would have ran out of uses by now, but I guess not. Ouch. Shock damage effect resisted. Good. That's good. And he's dead. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Umbril. Am I... Wait, am I falling? Oh, jeez. I thought he was going up, but I guess I was going down. And I'm back. Oh, my God, I'm not where I thought I was. I guess I should have grabbed Umbril's sword in the begin with. Umbril is utterly destroyed. I have completed my holy quest. Crusader, arise. Stand and face the light. Breathe again and receive your reward. What is my reward? You have completed your divine task. You have restored the order. You have defeated the enemy of the Nine. Great. I'm glad I did all the those things. The order shall serve as the sword and the shield of the Nine in the dark times to come. Well, let's see what makes you think there'll be dark times to come. A debt of thanks. You have succeeded where we could not. You and your knights have held true to your purpose. Good. At long last, our purgatory is at an end. We go to the glory of the Nine to serve in their host in the life beyond this world. Okay, sure. You may call upon our spirits when you need us. Simply pray at our tombs, and each of us will grant you a blessing from the Nine. Great. May your sword serve the Nine all the days of your life, Crusader. Farewell. <laughs> okay, bye. 
Thanks for thanks for helping me out, I guess. That guy's not going. Why why are you still here? You redeemed my soul from the evil that it inspired. Oh, this is oh, okay. For that, I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seems so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? Yep. Ah. Uh, Knights of the Nine. The Knights of the Nine stand together once again. I would not have thought it possible. We owe you a great debt. Good. Sir Caius? The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory Steps. Why did you slay him? I baited him, knowing his temper. And then I killed him when he drew against me. Uh -huh. I killed him in cold blood with the holy sword itself. Wow. I could have disarmed him or wounded him. But a cold pride had taken hold of me and so I slew him and went to war and never returned. Great. The evil grew upon me until I became cruel. A tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than in life. That sounds, it sounds Thanks bad, to you, okay. That all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Etheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. Yeah, well, I guess you'll find out if they really are merciful, because who knows what they could do up there to you. Sword of the Crusader. I took the sword down with me into evil. You have redeemed us both. The gods smile on such deeds, noble knight. Okay, so I still don't know why you killed him. I may guess I may never know. Guide your way. I wonder what happens... Where is Sir Caius's grave? That's Sir Junkin. Okay, here's Sir Caius. Sendar grants you the gift of agility. Always be swift to protect and swift to forgive. Okay, great. I don't. Which one is Sir Caius? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, so I just looked it up, and it it he doesn't actually say anything about it. He just says that you know him and Sir Beric used to be old comrades, and then uh, they became estranged. So. Clearly, because you know he killed him. So I guess I guess we don't know why he killed him, but that's all right. All right. Oh my God. What do you, what's up, Lord Crusader? How can this be? You you're alive. Yep. It's a miracle. I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate. I am alive. You vanished in Garlis Maladar. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. Oh, okay, sure. You had no wounds on your body. But you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. Wow. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. Well, I'm glad you didn't bury me into a coffin underground, because that would have been a lot worse. Even death cannot stop the Crusader. I can see that. I... You'll have to excuse me. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. Yeah, I don't blame you. We found Umaril's body next to yours. But it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrake. We didn't know. Tell me, Umaro, what happened? Did you succeed in pursuing him into the spirit realm as the prophet said? Umaro is defeated. I have severed his very soul. Then he is destroyed. We've won. And you're alive. I have to tell the others. Alright, you go do that. I wonder what this guy has to say about it. I'm at your service, sir. Nothing. He literally doesn't... He cares not for the mortal problems of the Crusader. Or immortal problems, I guess. He's like, who cares? Who? He's dead. He's alive. Doesn't matter. I'm just here to sell you crap and fix your junk. Alright, what's gonna happen? I don't really know. Oh my god, is that everybody? One, two, three... Knights four. of the Nine, hear me. Yeah, it's all of them. Today okay. we have witnessed... Undeniable proof. Guess they all survived. Of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Yes, indeed. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro. I wasn't actually slain in battle, to be to be fair. The Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? 
one of our foe. What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? Indeed, what has Umaro become of him? has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He they don't seem very impressed. They're just kind of like again. standing around like, uh, whatever. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaril forever. Indeed. Hail the Lord Crusader. That guy's just yes, like, whatever, Commander. I'm out of here. How may I serve you, Commander? You can't. Umaril. He will trouble us no more, thanks to you. Indeed, that's for certain. You too. Wait a second, he has more to what say about him? You have done what Pelinol Whitestrake himself could not. You have banished Umaril once and for all. The whole of Tamriel is in your debt. Yep. All right, great. See you later. Bye. Now everybody just goes about their business. I wonder if the prophet's in here. I want to find that prophet. I want to see what he has to say about, about how awesome I am. You know what I mean? No, he's not in here. Where'd he go? He just disappeared. Maybe he's back in Anvil. All right, I don't see him anywhere around here. All right, I looked it up. Apparently, he just disappears once you beat the game. So, uh, I mean, once you beat the Knights of the Nine questline. So that's kind of weird, I guess. I wonder what happened to this chapel. Is this chapel back... Back in work in order, or is it still destroyed? Hey, it's fixed again. That's good. I'm glad they decided to do something about it in the meantime. You were Martin's friend, weren't you? You were fortunate to have known him. Uh huh. Is that all you have to say? Goodbye. I'm honored to speak to the. Ch Goodbye. And nothing to say about how great it is that this chapel's fixed, I guess? Okay, sure, why not? Alright, so I guess that is that. Uh, I'm gonna end it here, but before, I wanted to let you know that I am... Uh, for the for the next Let's Play I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna have you guys vote on it, but I'm not gonna have you vote in this video. I'm gonna have you be voting uh, in a poll at the end of the video coming up, coming out this weekend. So if you want to vote on that, head over to that video, and uh, there'll be a poll... Uh, It'll show up at the end, but you can you can click on the little circle thing at the top of the video player with the eye in it to uh, vote on it any time you want. So uh, I'll see you guys then, and goodbye.